All right, everybody. <clears throat> Salute and good morning. And I appreciate everybody that's going to join us on the stream. And we're going to talk about, um, you know, the man. <laughs> we're going to talk about these traps that I've been telling you guys about. But I want to talk about uh, specifically here in, in the Dominican Republic. Uh, a bad law that I just, you know, wow, you know, this gets a lot of cats that if you don't do your homework, you will get got. And um, that is, and if you guys aren't subscribed, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this video. I appreciate everybody that comes in here and joins us on our streams. Uh, if you, if we spoke, touched on this a little bit in our last video, uh, but I want to touch on it more in this video. Listen, if you do not pay attention to the certain laws in the Dominican Republic, you will get got as a, as a foreigner coming out here, uh, whether you're visiting, whether you're an expat, whatever, whatever you are. Right. And uh, expat for you guys who don't know is a foreigner that's living in a different country. You understand? That's an expat. So, um, you know, an American that comes out here and lives out here is, is an expat. Uh so if you're an expat or if you're a foreigner and you come out here, you're out here for an extended period of time, let's just say, let's just use the expat, right? And um, you dating a girl and she comes and lives with you. Now, if she lives with you for longer than six months, I want y'all to think about this now because this is absolutely insane. But a lot of guys get got like this and are just left like, man, in, in, a, in a terrible situation. But if she lives with you in your house for longer than six months, she's entitled to half of everything in the house. Again, this, this is absolutely insane. I'm not even talking about if you're married. I'm just saying if she lives in the house. So she lives with you in your house. You dating this woman for more than six months. Right. And that's your girlfriend. She's entitled to half which I'm going to say it again, to me is insane, but that's how it goes. And so you got to be on point and understand how things operate. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, a lot of these women, they will be devious and take half of it, especially because sometimes that's their goal. Or if things go wrong, out of spite, out of spite, they'll come hard at you. So, if you're dating a girl and let's say you got a couple side chicks, she finds out, she gets ticked off. And she's been living with you for over six months. Bro, she's going to clean you out. She's going to take half. You know what I'm saying? And they enforce that type of stuff, man. You know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's crazy because you've seen guys that have literally lost things. They'll, they'll come over here, live, purchase a lot of things, build up their home, and then lose half of it to one of these women. Because either a misunderstanding they have between them, the woman may have just been setting them up from the beginning, whatever the case may be. It, it's not a good look at all. And to lose half your stuff, man, it's just, you know, under these type of type of circumstances is absolutely insane. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, that this type of stuff could happen, man. And, 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 and it's crazy, you know, it's crazy. Uh and that's why I always tell you guys, man, you got to be careful, man. It, it's a trap, man. You know, um, you come out here, you see all these beautiful women, you know what I mean? Exotic looking women. And, you know, uh, your other brain takes over, not the one inside, you know what I'm saying? Your skull. But your other, your other, your other, your other part takes over and it controls you. And, um, it, it brings for a bad situation for you, man, and a lot of trouble, man. Like I said, it's easy to get into a situation like that, man. Um, and, you know, you, you're looking at these women, man, and you're just looking at how, you know, uh, wow, man. You know what I mean? Like I said before, you guys will see on this channel when I um, start doing interviews and stuff like that, and we're going to have uh, – I got different models and stuff. I got a modeling agency. And so I will have different models coming um, on my channel. You know what I mean? Um, 
so you guys can see some of the models. We got photo shoots coming up, all this stuff that I'm doing on this channel. So if y'all not subscribe, subscribe, you know, and I'll have Dominican, I'll have Venezuelan, you know, I'll have Haitian, all kind of women that are doing photo shoots on this channel. Also, you know, well, we're going to go to Africa. I'm going to get African women. I'm also going to double back to Colombia, to the States, United States. We're going to go all over the world. You understand? I've been all over the world, but you know, like I told you guys, it's, um, it's real, man. And, um, you know, I, me personally, as I said to you guys, it's easy to get caught up in something. You got to be careful, man. It's a lot of rules set up for you to lose. You understand? For you to lose. You understand? And so you got to be very, very, very intelligent with everything you do, with how you're moving, um, you know, and just how what you're doing. You know, you don't move sloppy. You don't move stupid. And you always stay intelligent. You know, sometimes it's just better. You know, if you go get a cheap apartment for the girl, if you're dating her and you go get a cheap apartment for her, but then some dudes don't want to do that because they really don't trust a woman. So you really got to go through that vetting process. And uh, that vetting process is real. You really got to go through that vetting process when you're out here dating a woman. You know what I'm saying? She has to pass the test of time in that vetting process uh, before you take it to another level. You just don't take it to the next level. Uh, with no woman out here without vetting her and without doing going through that process. Uh, because if not, you'll be left out here broke and looking crazy as hell. You know what I'm saying? And so you just got to be very smart about everything uh, that you do, how you moving, all of this stuff. It just has to be a point of intelligence um, the way that you operate. Because I, I'm telling you guys, man, you will get got, and I say half, I, I, and I mean, let's say you come out, you got a big house, cars, pool, all that stuff, man, half, half, you understand? And I'm talking about without marriage. If you dating her and she's living with you, you feel what I'm saying? And trust me, she will keep receipts over the period of time. She will be counting those days. So when you get to six months and start acting like a fool, you know what I'm saying? And you guys have some type of falling out and you break up, you kick her out, she going to take half. Straight up. And there's nothing you're going to be able to really do about it. You know? Um, it's, it's a bad, it's a crazy situation. Uh, but you really got to be intelligent um, with how you're moving because it can get crazy quick you know what i mean and it will get crazy quick out here and so i always say to everybody man move move wisely move smartly you know um and don't always think with your wrong brain you know what i'm saying don't always think what you're wrong with your wrong with your wrong piece you know what i'm saying sometimes you got to be smart and just think that man let me let me go through the process of checking this out because not all women are bad out here. I'm going to tell you all that right now. You can find a lot of good women that are submissive that really care. You know what I'm saying? You just got to go through the vet process and it's where you're finding these women, bro. If you go into the strip club, bro, what you th what you think you're going to find? It's just like in the States. Bro, if you go into the strip club, if you go into the club, right, and you see any same woman in the club every single week, what do you think you're going to find? I don't understand it with these guys. What do they think they're going to find in the club every week? You find the same girl in the club. What do you think she's looking for? You think she's stable? You think she's got a family? You think she's got goals, aspirations? You think she's doing? No, she's in the club every week. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just telling y'all this. So it's the same thing out here, but it's different. You see any same girls is in the club doing all this, you know, always uh, uh, some dude is paying for it. Period. You know what I mean? Some dude is paying for it. And uh, Mr. Mr. Mass says she's not taking half my issue. Oh, salute to take to everybody else in the chat. Tyrone, all y'all. Salute. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess it is. What's up? Um, 
bro, you can't do nothing about it out here, man. Man, they crazy with that out here, bro. Crazy. So if you're dating a woman for more than six months, right, and you guys have a falling out and she leave, it's over with, bro. She can take half of your stuff. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Them people will be at your crib to make sure half of that stuff gets taken out. Split it right down the middle. They will be at your crib. They don't play. They don't play with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And so you, that's why I said you always got to go through the vetting process. You know what I'm saying? You always got to go through the vetting process. That's the most important process that you got to go through with the women, man. And it takes time. You know what I'm saying? Some dudes, listen, you're going to hit, you're going to quit. Boom. That's why I always told y'all, never let these women see what's inside your crib before you know Without being married, man, that's crazy, man. You feel what I'm saying, dog? That's crazy, bro. It's like without being married, dog. Like, if she lived with you for more than six months, and that's your girl, girlfriend, girlfriend, not married, girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Bro, if you, if you, if you don't, if you don't get, if you have a falling out with her, boy, if you have a falling out with her and she kicks you out the house, I mean, you, excuse me, you kick her out, half that's in that house, cars, all that stuff is, 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 uh, is hers. And that's crazy. Boy, and that's crazy. That is crazy. But it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's the truth. Um, and it's, it's a sad situation to see, you know, but it's, it's, it's real, you know, um, and, and it's something that's prevalent right now, man. It's something that's really going on that people got to pay much more attention to, you know what I'm saying? Straight like that. Hey, hey, uh, so I want to say you before you saw it, you Uh, where was the weather? Con queso. Salami and pancakes. So, yeah, y'all. My bad, y'all. I was telling the maid to cook me some breakfast. Huh? Use an agua. Use an Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, um, me and Mano being in oil. So, y'all seen it on our trabajo aquí. Yeah. Mi hermana viene hoy. Mi hermana viene hoy. Uh -huh. So, yeah, like I told y'all, right? And I'm going to say it again. Um, My bad, y'all. I was telling her to cook me that breakfast. I was telling the maid. Um, you know, as I said, bro, you got to be very careful, man. The vetting process, man, has to be serious, bro. You can't be playing around. And they got to know that you're serious. You feel me? They got to know that you understand. That's why I said I never advise a dude just to come here and just wife up a chick off the bat. You got to understand the life. You feel what I'm saying? You have to understand the life. You have to understand how to move. You have to understand, uh, you know what I'm saying, the country, the lifestyle, uh, the language. That is very important. All of this stuff is very important because, you know, if you don't know this stuff, you will get swindled in certain situations. Again, there are good women out here. A lot of them, you know what I'm saying? I got one. It's a good woman out here. But I had to learn the language to get through the BS. You understand what I'm saying? I had to learn the language. Shout out to my boy, the African Sky Fire in the building, man. That's my brother from another right there. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, I had to learn the language, bro. You know, and traveling all around the world, every country I went to, I told y'all this, every single country I've ever been to, I've always tried to learn some of the language. I hate being in spots because you guys know I play basketball, so I've been all around the world. I hate being in spots where I don't understand nothing because I don't never want people to be able to be talking around me and I don't know what the hell is being said. I don't never want that. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want that for myself. I, and I don't want that just in general. You know what I mean? I always want it to be a situation where, you know, I know what the hell is going on around me. And, you know, I can be able to, you know, react accordingly. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's just how I like it. I don't like being hit with surprises and stuff like that. That's not where, that's not how I deal. You know what I'm saying? And so you will get hit with that though if you not moving right. So it's always important that you move in correctly. You know? It's always important you moving correctly, bro. And you knowing how to get down. Because like I said, man, if not, you're going to lose your bread, dog. And it's going to be easy work. You know what I'm saying? Guys, come over here. I'm telling you. They'll come over here, see some beautiful women. And, and just, like, they don't even know. This woman is a straight, like, like trick. And these dudes will wife them up, show them all kind of flash, show them all kind of money. Meanwhile, the whole time, she's scheming on you. You know what I'm saying? Either she's scheming to get up under you, and you're going to be her... You're going to be her her ATM permanently. You know what I'm saying? Some women do that. They'll get with you so you can be their personal ATM. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you got to be aware of that. Women who don't want to work at all, that's a red flag. Like, women who don't want to. I'm talking about, like, bro, she don't want to do nothing. She don't even want to help clean the house. Like, she looking at you like she wants a maid to do everything. And, and out here, uh... Maids are famous. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but if you have a woman that, man, she don't have no, like, bro, I had an ex-girl, even my current girlfriend that I've been with for the last uh, six years. Um, bro, she, uh, I knew it was real when she was waking up, cooking breakfast, cleaning all the other stuff. You know what I'm saying? But mine got a job. You know what I'm saying? Mine has, she actually works in an office, secretary. Mine has a job. And so, you know, I respect that because a lot of the women out here, they don't have jobs. You know what I'm saying? Some of them do, but some, most of them are at home and waiting on some man to take care of them. And that's just me being honest about it. You know what I'm saying? They at home waiting on some man to take care of them and wait on some fool or searching online for some fool. And that's another thing. The dating applications, man. With dudes coming out here, going on the dating apps, finding women, yeah, you can find a woman on there, but that don't mean you're going to find what you, you're looking for. Yeah, if you're looking for something to smash on and stuff like that, that ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? You can go outside. I can literally walk to the grocery store right now, sit outside the grocery store, and see about 50 janks in an hour that most niggas will try to wipe up. In one hour, I can just sit outside the grocery store and see 50 janks that most dudes will try to wipe up. I'm talking about walking in the store. You know what I'm saying? I can go in the States right now, sit outside Walmart, and don't see don't see five jumps that a nigga be like, man, I'll wipe her up. You know what I'm saying? But out here in the Caribbean, man, you go to the grocery store, that ain't that's clockwork. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Seeing them type of things, that ain't nothing. That's easy clockwork. Watching them type of things walk around. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about thick, sexy, voluptuous. You understand what I'm saying? All of that in a bag of got on potato chips is what they is. You know what I mean? And so, as I said before, man, they know what they is. The women out here, they take pride in being beautiful. They take pride in smelling good. They take pride in, you know what I'm saying, their bodies and stuff like that, and oiling up and what all that stuff a girl do. They take pride. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm trying to tell you, bro. When I say this, I mean this. They take pride in their hair. They take pride in their nails. They take pride in 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 in, in everything they do. You know what I'm saying? It's just far as they get up. They take pride in that. You know what I mean? And so it's easy to get tempted. I'm trying to tell you this. You come out here thinking it's a game if you want to. It's easy to get tempted, bro. Every day I go into the stove. I'm thinking like, man, dog, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a joint I see every single day. I go to the store. It's something I see in the grocery store. Things that's working in the grocery store. It's a girl that work in the grocery store, man. I just want a guy that going to knock the boots off her ass, nigga. I want to knock her from here to guy that going to check Los Slavia, nigga. You know what I mean? And that's just me being real. And that's how real it is when you, what, what I'm telling you guys, you know? But you have to be able to, you know what I'm saying, realize that that's just what it is out here, man.
you're going to see that every day, all day long. You know, and it ain't going to change. It ain't going to stop. You're going to constantly see, you know, super bad janks. And so it's easy to get into a situation where she coming, you you digging with her, you rocking with her. She comes, you really feeling her. When you start, when you start banging it out every night, you know what I'm saying? You want her there with you every day. You like, yo, you gotta come over here. And then she start living with you. She live with you. Y'all basically in a relationship. She living with you for more than six months. Boy, y'all have an argument, a falling out. You don't seen another chick. She don't got you caught up. Y'all break up. You kick her out. Now you got to give her half. Now you got to give her half of everything in your house. You ain't even married this chick. But now you got to give her half, which is why it's smart to be smart. You understand what I'm saying? Which is vet the woman, man. See that the woman, what she's all about, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to tell y'all something. I used to put test to my woman. I would test her. Like, what I would do is, is I would look to see what her nails look like after two weeks. You know what I'm saying? If her hair was starting to get bad, I would look to see if she was asking me for help for stuff. You know what I'm saying, dog? Now, like I said, Dominican women always want to keep themselves looking good. You know what I mean? And so some women that's working, you know, and paying their bills, you feel me? Man, they, I mean, you know, hey, they ain't always going to have it, but they working a real job. You feel what I'm saying? Now, let me, let me explain this too, because like, this needs to be put out there too. There are women that's out here that's doing that bullish that are, that are working real jobs and they still tricking on the side, right? <laughs> so that does happen when you get women that's, because I know this girl, she's working at the bank, bro. She thick as on what, bro? Stupid, dumb, thick. You know what I'm saying? And she got this dude, this foreign dude, you know what I'm saying? That she be fucking with. Like, this dude don't know he be, well, she he probably do know, but he's just a trick. So, you know, he's a rich cat and Whenever he comes in, in in the country, she'll go to resorts with him and everything like that. But how do, how the hell I got her number? You know what I'm saying? So I know she fucking with other niggas. You know what I mean? And so she just using this nigga to get his bread. So she 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 tricking, even though she got a regular job at the bank. So I know she tricking. You know what I mean? Um, just based off how she moving and stuff like that. You feel me? And then she be putting post up. She was putting post up mad, talking about some uh, uh, because the men will point that shit out out here. Like they'll point that shit out when a woman is just like they call them a chappy at order, like a, a gold digger. And so when you out here doing that shit, men will call that shit out sometimes to these hoes. And then they'll get mad and go on social media talking about some. Oh, they ain't always thinking. Oh, every woman just wants money. It ain't about just that. Well, why you always talking about money then? Why is your conversation always about money then? If it ain't always about money, why is your conversation always about money? You know what I mean? And so, as I said before, you, you guys have to understand this. If y'all not getting the notifications, ring the notification bell. So it says you'll receive all notifications whenever I, I drop videos. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all ring that bell. You know? Got to ring that bell. Have to ring that bell. Uh, make sure y'all do that. Have to ring that bell. You know what I'm saying? Raekwon, what's up, y'all? And so I'm just telling y'all this, right? And so, and Dominican women is different. Like, I've been in Colombia, and I tell y'all about Colombian women, too. It's different. Like, in Colombia, it's different. Like, if you in Medellin in Colombia, or if you in um, Cartagena, like those spots, you're going to find a lot of hoes out there, period. Just women that's working, trying to, you know, get that bread on the street. That's bad as a motherfucker, but they're just trying to get bread on the street. They're just working women. Now, if you go to some of the other other parts of, of, of Colombia, like J Bogota, Manizales, other places like that, uh, you know, um, Tunja, places just normal cities, you're going to find regular women that's bad, but they, for the most part, they just trying to live normal lives and stuff like that. And, like, you can really have a relationship and be 
<laughs> and feel good about it with those women. But if you go to Cartagena and the in the resort vacation spots, you gonna find hoes out there, man. And it's easy to find. All you gotta do is go right to the um to the to the strip club. Strip club right there. The clubs is basically strip clubs. You go right there to the strip club, to the club, they right there. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. So yeah. And um but as I was saying to y'all, man, um, back to this thing with the DR, man. <laughs> you know, um, man, dog, you run around across these girls with these fatties, man. Bro, it's that shit hypnotizing, man. It's hypnotizing, bro. See a girl that freaking beautiful, that's smelling good. And let me tell you something, bro. This is how you know that is so good. Like that girl y'all looking at on y'all screen. She, you know, she smelled like Apollonia from a mouth, from like, you can literally be a block away. She smelled like apple freaking Lonian and probably tastes just like Miss Buttersworth. And I'm talking about it, man, bro. I'm talking about crazy and it'll blow your mind, man. And it's easy for you to get caught up in a bad situation, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. You can always check the temperature of these women, too, with their attitudes, bro. That's another telltale sign about women out here. Women's attitude, you know, tell you a lot about them. If a woman got a nasty attitude, she, she could be bad. Like, they got some chicks out here, man, that's bad, like stupid bad, like super beautiful. But she always got, like, a, a nasty attitude. Like, I can't, I can't rock with no chick like that, bro. I hate chicks like that. When you see little bad chicks... They got little nasty attitudes. Like, bro, I don't even pay no attention to them hoes, man. I keep it pushing. You understand know what I'm saying? Once I see she got that attitude like that, you ain't never got to worry about hearing nothing from me. You did? And they be like that, too, you know? And they, they just want to fuck with niggas who got the bag. You understand what I'm saying? Them the only niggas that can talk crazy to them. You know, as a nigga like myself, I can just talk any kind of way to them because of how I'm riding and how I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? They going to humble themselves to that. But I don't respect that. <clears throat> I don't respect that. You know, I only respect the real. I only respect the real. And so I'm going to show y'all on my channel, though, bro. I'm going to have, because I got a modeling. Uh, <coughs> I got a modeling agency. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me tell y'all about my modeling agency. Hold on. Hold on one second. Tell y'all about this modeling agency. Now, on my channel, on this channel right here, y'all hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'm going to show you guys a lot of the interviews that I do with girls who want to uh, sign with my agency. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, what we do is is I got a lot of videos y'all haven't even seen yet. I got a lot of content that y'all haven't, I haven't even put up. But what we do is we do all kind of stuff, photo shoots, video shoots, um, at resorts everywhere. So I'm all over. I'm at all the resorts and stuff doing photo, video shoots. Um, and what we do is, is we try to find the most beautiful women in the, in the country, do interviews with them. You know what I'm saying? And everything like that. So I got people that work with me. I got my assistant that work, assistant that works with me. <clears throat> you guys may have seen her before, but she's gonna come over in a little while. Um, and we're gonna uh, do some work today, because uh, we got to get some more contracts set up. Because I got some interviews that we got to do this week with some of these women. You understand what I'm saying? And so, like I said before, um. We're going through the vetting process, and I'm going to show you guys, and y'all going to help pick the models that I use for this channel. Now, when I get the models for this channel, we're going to do the interviews with them. You know what I'm saying? Everything. We're going to do photo shoots, video shoots on live on this channel, everything. So you guys are going to be able to see <coughs> um, these women. You guys are going to be able to, uh, you understand? see some of the different types of women they have out here. And I'm going to do all types. I'm not just going to do the thick joints. That's just, you know what I'm saying, bro? I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to do all the skin colors. I'm going to do the Afro Latinas. I'm going to do the, the, you know what I'm saying? 
the Moranis, the, the black girls. I'm going to do the, the red bones. I'm going to do the caramel jinx. I'm going to have every single type, the thick jinx. I'm going to have the slim jinx. I'm going to have some for everybody. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying to really see, so you guys can see the women that are out here. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, like I said, y'all need to see. Y'all get to see here. You know what I'm saying? Translation, all that stuff. And I want to bring that uh, different aspect to uh, my channel, so you guys can see. <clears throat> you know some of the work that's out here, as far as some of the just beautiful women. That's out here. And so, like I said, I'll let you guys help me. Um, Unity, what's good? Homie, salute to you, my brother. Uh, I'm going to let you guys see some of the, the women that's out here so y'all can see what it is. So, like I said, um, you know, and y'all can help decide on which ones to keep because then we go into resorts. Uh, a lot of times I'll be at the resorts doing photo shoots with some of the other people that work for me and things like that. So, you know, I just haven't put the women on the channel yet. And so I'm going to do that. So make sure that you guys stay subscribed to this channel because that's going to be very important to see, you know, what I'm saying the different things um, that, you know, I'm going to uh, present to you guys on this channel. And I know a lot of guys, you know, what I'm saying most guys love women, you know, what I'm saying. And so I'm going to show them all to you uh, on my network, on my channel. And so, like I said, today. I'm going to be working on some interviews. I got interviews all this week, too, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why I didn't go on live so much more lately on my on my main channel, because I be doing interviews all the time <laughs> that I have stored up in my in my in my gig, in my in my uh, computer. <clears throat> and also, I'm still doing interviews. So I just got a lot of work I've been doing. So I come on live when I can. I drop videos on my other channels when we talking basketball. But this is another aspect of life that. I see and that I'm going to share with y'all. So all of you guys who have the curiosity on what does it look like? What do these women really look like? What do they sound like? I'm going to get that to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ask them the tough questions. I'm going to ask them all of the questions about just their life, their, their upbringing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, questions about this country, uh, how they move, everything. And so y'all don't want y'all not going to want to miss it, that because I'm going to have, like I said, <clears throat> all types of these women. And then, like I said, we're going to be doing photo shoots to where I show you guys on the beach, <coughs> video shoots, all this stuff. So this is going to definitely be something that um, ain't nobody done before that you guys are going to see, uh, you know, on this channel. And so. Hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy that content that I'm going to bring to y'all, man, and appreciate just everything that I'm going I'm to put out here on display for y'all, you know, um, because it does take a lot of work, you know what I'm saying? And as I said now, uh, <clears throat> those people are fixing up my office uh, where I normally do the um, – our interviews because we had a leakage inside the ceiling in, in one of my offices. So I have to do it from my house right now. I mean, that's why I bought all of my, my other uh, recording material back to my house uh, because our office had a leak in the ceiling and I didn't want it to ruin our, our, um, our equipment, the equipment that I, I bought and that I'm using, you know what I'm saying? And so it's real, bro. It's, it's real. You know what I'm saying? It's real, bro. And so, like I said, man, I just warn everybody, man, <clears throat> stay on the up and up and be careful as you guys travel around the world, man. And remember, you're not just going to go to any place, man, and just find a woman and that's going to be it. It's not going to happen like that, bro. You have to put your feet down on the soil. You have to understand the culture. You have to understand the lifestyle. You have to understand how these women think. Because how you going to outthink a woman if you don't even know how she live or what her principles is? You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these guys, they get involved with these women. They don't even know what her principles is all about. You guys don't even know what she stands for. A lot of these women don't have no principles. You know what I'm saying? They grew up in situations where 
They didn't grow up like you. They didn't grow up with morals and ethics. They didn't grow up with two parents. They grew up with a mom that was out here, you know what I'm saying, that maybe got like three or four different baby daddies. So what y'all think, what y'all expect that they're going to end up being like? You know what I'm saying? And their mentality is is different. You feel me? In the States, women, for the most part, want to be independent out here. You have women who want to be independent, but a lot of women want to be dependent on you. And so they trying to get to your pocket. Like Ficky said, they trying to get to your pockets, homie. He said, I ain't going to let her. You know what I'm saying? And so for the cats that just keep thinking that it's easy that they're going to walk out here, get these girls, and that's going to just not going to happen like that, bro. It's not going to happen. You better do something, man. It's going to be more than you using that Google Translate because when you in a situation and you don't know how to get out of it, you're going to wish that you would have just fell back came and chill for a while and learn the culture. You understand what I'm saying? Learn the culture before you got in deep in the game. Because once you get in and you really don't know what you're getting into, bro, it's hard to get out of that shit, man. And I'm telling y'all this. It's hard to get out of that shit, bro. And so that's why I always tell cats, man, I always stay true to the game with that. Learn the culture when you go to a country, bro. Don't go to a country that's doing stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just, you know, hit it, split it, quit it. You feel what I'm saying? Straight like that, bro. And that's what it's got to be, you know? But you getting caught up in them situations where them, the chick's so bad, you ain't never and, – and like I said, a lot of these guys, they ain't never been able to have no chicks. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys – Man, they dead beats, man. Not dead beats, but them niggas can't get no women back in those states. So they come overseas to get a beautiful woman. And they be an ugly ass, alpha ass looking Negro. You understand? But they got money and they willing to spend the money on these girls. So that girl, she don't see you. She see that bread. You understand what I'm saying? But see, that woman who rocking with you, when you don't show no flash, that woman that's rocking with you, when you're not out here just feeding her money and she's still rocking with you, you know what I'm saying? She posting pics with you and stuff like that. All that stuff is very important. Now, some dudes don't want that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Some dudes like me, I don't like posting a whole lot of pics with my shorty and stuff like that. I ain't with all that. You know what I'm saying? And that's not because of her, but that's just because of just, you know, you see the situation that happened with, uh, what you call it, uh, P&B. And so that didn't have anything to do with her, but a lot of people know that that stuff type of stuff can go down like that, man. Women sometimes can be reckless with how they move. And, you know, um, depending on what tax bracket you in, you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker could try and use that to try to get at you. You know what I mean? And so you always have to be careful with that, too, because, and I'm going to tell you something. You got to be careful with that posting with these certain women, too, because some of these women could be could be tangled up with the wrong with the wrong dudes. You know what I'm saying? And the dude find out that you rock, you effing with her, and you don't even know. And that nigga come take it out on you. He come take it out on her and on you. You don't even know. Until you smoked. You know what I'm saying? And so you got to be smart, man. Everything you do have to be a smart move. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm just going to show y'all, man. <clears throat> so I know some of these women that y'all gonna see, y'all gonna be like, man, she got an attitude, take it. Like, you can tell. <laughs> you can tell just how she she talking and how she moving and stuff like that. You know? Well, I expose these things to y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I show y'all this. You feel me? But this is all a part of the, the process of, you know, of vetting. You know what I'm saying? The vetting process. Um, it is what it is, you know, but it gets extensive, um, you know, the vetting process gets very extensive. So you got to be very, very, um, you have to be very, very attentive and understanding what these different situations and how these women move. So, you know, I want everybody to understand that. That's very important to me that everybody knows, you know what I'm saying? the do's and the don'ts, how to move, how not to move, what to do, what not to do, you know, in this, in this country and in other countries that you move in. 
like I said, I don't been around the world, so I learned how to move in a lot of different countries, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like you moving in the States. It's you everywhere move a little bit different. And so you just got to know, you know. But be careful, fellas, when you're coming out here and dating, dating these women. Understand the laws before you get into it with these women, man. I'm going to say myself to, again to y'all. Understand the laws when you go into a certain country, bro. You know, you look at the whole situation with Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner thought it was a game. She thought it was a game. Now, look, she, she down for nine, almost a decade now. So, you know what I'm saying? And you think she you think she going to get out? But we ain't even talking about that. We talking about a whole different vibe. We talking about you understanding the game of you don't lose your shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't lose half of what you own, half of what you bought. You feel me? Straight like that. Women will come out here, and I'm going to talk about this in a different video, try to get you to buy them a car and, you know, put it in their name. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, mm -mm. there's a benefit and a non, and, I, and I'm going to tell you how to do that on this channel. What to do. If you in it with a woman who you really care about and you're trying to help her move a certain way, but you don't want it to be where if y'all break up that, you know what I'm saying? She taking off with all your shit. I'm going to tell y'all how to move in them situations. I got videos coming out on all that stuff. You know what I mean? And so, you, like I said, you have to be able to think on a different level. You can't be thinking with your one brain. You know what I'm saying? You got to be thinking with your upper brain. Because if not, again, your pockets will be dry and I'm a, I can't say this enough I can't say it enough to people man I don't see this shit happen way too many times with cats out here bro these new cats come out here they don't know how to move man and them niggas bro I don't see cats come out here and blow through five racks in two weeks oh, oh just fucking with, fucking with these women I don't see any dudes come out here and blow five racks in two weeks effing with these women. And it's sad. These are devastating stories. You know what I'm saying? More folk blow through their whole bag fucking with these hoes. It's a, and it's a horrible, horrible story. But it's true. You know? And, you know, they, they lose a lot. They lose a lot, bro. It moves a lot. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it's, it's just, you know, yeah, you can't beat the course. And then the lawyers are still from y'all here. Like the lawyers, bro, they man, boy. But Dominican lawyer, <laughs> boy, you would think that they work, that you think that they working against you. You're like, I'm paying you, you working against me. You know what I'm saying? I've seen that situation happen with people who are trying to like ship cars over here and stuff like that. And they hire a legal team or a lawyer or somebody like that to help them with the process, man. I don't see all kind of horror stories over here, bro. And so I'm coming to tell people the do's and the don'ts of how to move, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't see it all. And it gets ugly, bro, in certain situations. And that be because people don't know what they're doing. They don't know who they getting involved with. You ain't never meet their family. You know what I'm saying? That's very important too. Know the woman's family. The woman that you dealing with, you got to know her family. See how her family moving. You understand what I'm saying? See what type of time her family's on. Is she a family woman? You understand what I'm saying? Is she a family woman? Or is she just a ratchet ass? She's a beautiful girl that's just ratchet as fuck. You know what I mean? I can show y'all this shit, man. I can show y'all the, the Instagram of these, these chicks, bro. And it's just, it's up, it's outrageous, bro. That these hoes be on Instagram. I'm talking about popping everything, bro. You understand what I'm saying? And from nigga to nigga, from resort to resort.
Every time she posts a pic, she's in the nicest resorts. All right, you already know what's up. That ain't her money. She ain't posting no pictures with no dudes, but she in a new resort every week. You know she getting popped off. Her and all her friends. They got a team of girls who do that. That are going to pop off. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. <clears throat> and some of the women, if you put them in the most desperate situations, they'll break their morals. In the most desperate situations, they'll break their morals. Some women won't. You know what I'm saying? Some women won't. You know what I mean? And I'm just telling y'all that. I'm just telling y'all that. You did? But I think it's very important that you guys understand this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Very important. I, man, listen, I've had women. I had this bad chick, bro. She was so bad. Devious. Devious chick, bro. I couldn't believe how beautiful she was, man. Devious mind. I mean, look, she's a family girl, too. She loved her family. Good family girl. Devious chick, bro. When I say devious, man, fucking with other niggas on the side, on the low, she got a real job. She got a real job. You know what I mean? But, you know, and she, man, bro, I'm talking about, man, I, man, I knocked her down, bro. Oof. I'm, when I say the, the things on the, when I say the the, 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 the box is on another level, bro, body stupid banging. Unbelievable beauty, bro. Bro, dudes would just be like going crazy for women like this. But, you know, me and her, we got into it. She wanted me to wife her up. I was like, man, if in the wife you up with no attitude like you got, lost your goddamn mind. I kept thinking about her too because she was so bad. She the type that you, you want to take a risk on, nigga. If I show you the picture of this girl, man, y'all would be like, man, get the hell out of here. Tell me, like, man, I ain't lying, nigga. I ain't lying to you, dog. Them Jones bad like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Super bad like that, bro. And they tempting, man. They tempting, bro. You know? It's hard. Temptation, man. We'll get the best of you out here. You feel me? They know how to put it to you. Because this girl, she knew exactly what she was doing when she came, you know what I'm saying, with me. I mean, bro. Say something sexy to you and some shit that make your mind fucking go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And you beating that shit up, man. It's like, man, uh, it's time to tell you, bro. She just hit me right now while we was on live. That's why I said something about her. Hold my hand to God. She just hit me right now. You know, she's in a different city, though, now. But I fucked with her a few years ago, man. Damn, dog. And I thought she was going to be the shorty. Hold on. She just hit me back. She just hit me right now. This girl, something else. So, yeah. You saying two days you can fall in love? Man, I don't see niggas come out here and fall in love in one hour, nigga. What's wrong with you, bro? I don't see these simping ass niggas fall in love in one hour. And listen, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. The way some of these women look, shit, nigga, you can't really blame like, man, that joint is bad, though, dog. You like, yeah, dog, man. How is she that bad, bro? Like, your mind is thinking, your mind is telling you no. But everything else saying, yo, I got to get hurt, man. She got to get this. You know what I'm saying? That's what everything else is telling you. Feel me? That's what everything else is telling you. I'm trying to tell you, bro, if I show y'all a picture of this girl, man. I might want to see if she, she want to do a photo shoot because I'm actually writing her right now as I'm talking to y'all. I'm writing her right now. She hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Asking me what I'm doing. <laughs> For real. When I say bad, bro, and I was hitting, I was banging her out, bro. But the reason why I ain't wife her because I knew she was fucking with a non-nigga. I told her, I said, yo, you fucking with that other nigga, man. I'm not finna fuck with you. And I said, you got, I said, you got a nasty attitude. I said, I don't like your attitude, man. You need to change your attitude. And so, and then she wanted me to do it. Oh, I forget. That's what it was. 
she, and then this what really made me just fall up off of her for that second. She kept like she she always like like something was going on with her mom. Like her mom had a problem with her eye or something like that, and they needed some money or something like that. And I was like, nah, I ain't finna come off no bread for you right now. And she got so mad. And that's how we stopped fucking with each other. It was all for that. You know what I'm saying? And so, like I said, man, I don't be fucking with that crazy shit. And then, like, when a woman be secretive and shit like that, I ain't got time for that, man. You know, I'm not finna be a nigga running all up behind your phone. But if you hiding that shit all the time, shit, man, I know what time it is. You're not finna be playing with me. I don't, I don't care how good the coochie is, nigga. And that shit, when I say that shit was good, nigga, 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 that she got a super soaker, nigga. I was like, God, dog, red bone jump, light skin jump, dog. Red bone, I'm talking about, bro, one of the most beautiful women you ever see on planet Earth. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. When I say one of the most beautiful women you will ever see, one of the most beautiful women you will ever see, ever. You know what I'm saying? Ever. She's so bad, you be thinking like, yo, fuck it, I deal with the bullshit. Like, that's how bad she is. I'm just being honest with y'all. That's how bad she is. You know what I'm saying? You be like, man, fuck it, man, I deal with that bullshit. Fuck. Put that on my tab, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the truth about the whole situation, y'all. And that's just me being honest with y'all, man. You know? About the whole situation. So, yeah, hey, man, listen, I'm going to tell you something, bro. If I show you a picture of this girl, man, y'all niggas' minds would fucking go crazy. You'd be like, yo, ticket, you ain't hit that. I'd be like, bro, man, listen, bro. I'm trying to tell you, man. When she came, when she came to my crib, dog, because I, I brought her to the crib, nigga. When she came to my crib, nigga, this was a few years ago, bro, because I met her and while I was playing for this team out here, and I met her. You know what I'm saying? And, bro, we just started fucking with each other. Like, she came through, dog. When she came through, like, she was fucking with a nigga heavy, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I knew she was fucking with another nigga, though. I kept telling her, like, you fucking with that other nigga, man. I ain't finna fuck with you. I ain't even gonna lie. I hit that chain raw, nigga. I hit that chain raw. I felt all of that, dog. I was like, dog, man. Man. She got some some coochie that's mind blowing, straight like that, bro. That shit is that shit is mind blowing. The coochie she got, I was like, dog, man, how can this coochie be so good like this, man? You know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, man, we we man, the shit she was doing to me, man, licking and licking all up behind a nigga ear and kissing on a nigga ear and shit behind it. I was like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Man, I, I went to work on her ass, nigga. I went to work on that ass, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, after that, it came to the other shit. Like, she fucking with this other nigga. I told her ass, like, yo, I ain't finna be playing with you, man. You fucking with this other nigga and shit like that. You know what I mean? And she knew I knew. You know what I'm saying? But that shit fell apart. She got mad when I didn't fucking... Drop that bread to help her mom. You know what I'm saying? Because I was trying to prove a point to her. I'm not finna give you no fucking money and help you with shit. If you ain't fuck, if you ain't committed to me and only me, shit, tell that other nigga to pay that shit. I ain't finna pay that shit. I'm gonna keep that shit a G, nigga. I'm not finna pay that shit. So that's why she got mad at me. We stopped fucking with each other after that. But we still keep in contact from time to time. And I be seeing her like she be posting shit on her statuses and shit like that. I'd be like, man, God damn. I'd be looking at her every fucking day, like wanting to just tear that ass up again, man. Every single day I'd be looking at her wanting to get at that again, bro. Like, bro, I need to get that again, man. Like, for real, dog. You know what I'm saying? But she work a job, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, she not a flat out hoe, you know what I'm saying? But she freak, she a freak, though. You know what I'm saying? She not no working hoe. She's a she a freak. You know what I'm saying? And she want a man that's gonna take the responsibility of helping her in her life. You know what I'm saying? She now she works a job. She works at this eye center. She's so she's like an eye doctor. 
You feel me? Bro, I can show y'all a thick ass joint that um I I can show y'all a thick ass joint that I got. She work at the hospital, bro. Bro, this shit, this girl's so fucking thick, nigga. Nigga, I was bringing her to my crib like around 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning and just got there going tearing her ass up. And I did that because I knew her. She was cool. I knew her for a while because she exercised close to where I live. She'd be outside. And I seen her one day, thick as fuck. And I was riding by. I put that bitch on. Oh, I put the pump on fucking brakes. I asked her, what's good? You know what I'm saying? She gave me the number and shit. And um, <clears throat> we started talking a lot. A lot. And then one day, I just told her, look, pull up. You live close to where I live. Pull up. Because, see, I knew where she lived. So that's why I was comfortable. And I knew she wasn't harm. I knew she wasn't on no shit. So she pulled up, told that big ass. I'm talking about she thick, big, sexy. I'm talking about, bro, when I say, bro, I ain't even on front, nigga. Bro, I wish I could show you guys some of these pictures of these, these girls. Man, you be like, damn, ticket. That's how you doing, man. I'm trying to tell you, bro. And so um, I still be hitting her up right now. I told her to come through yesterday. You know what I'm saying? But she be working some crazy hours at the hospital. Sometimes she be working all night shift. Sometimes she be working a morning shift. I don't even know when she be on, when she be off. And then she, she crazy. Like she'll pop up to my crib when I ain't, when I don't even know. I told her, don't do that shit. Don't be doing no unannounced shit. Because she, you come over here one time, and I ain't tell her, but you come over here, my girl over here, bro. It's going to be a problem. Straight like that for me. You feel me? So, but yeah, that's how it go, man. She be wanting me to pipe that thing all the way down. OG, super triller. You know what I'm saying? She be wanting me to pipe that thing down. But y'all gonna see some of the joints I put on the channel. I'm gonna start off modestly. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm gonna have photo shoots at the uh, at the beaches that y'all gonna see on this channel. Everything. So you guys make sure, again, y'all are locked into this channel, man, because I'm, the content I'm gonna bring y'all over here I'm going to give y'all an exclusive look. You know what I'm saying? At these Latino women, man. On the island, nigga. I'm going to give y'all an exclusive look. You understand? And nigga, mine going to go crazy. I'm trying to tell y'all this. Your mine's going to go crazy. So, yeah, man. It's unbelievable, man. But, you know, it's real. You know what I'm saying? It's real like I tell y'all this. You know, but yeah, that joint I'm telling y'all about, dog. When I say stupid bad, bro, I'm talking about, bro, next level shit, nigga. Next level shit, bro. Next level shit. And that's how I be out here. And you find them jumps in anywhere, nigga. In any community, you can find them jumps. You know what I'm saying? Like you could just go to the hood and find a badge on them here, bro. In the hood. Fuck, man. I got to go to the store and get some motherfucking syrup, man. This shit. Fuck, man. I ain't finna eat these motherfucking pancakes dry. These motherfuckers gonna eat up all my syrup, y'all. How they gonna eat up all my syrup? I'll be damned, man. I ain't finna eat these like this. No way. No way. I'm not. But I appreciate everybody that's in here. You know what I'm saying? Just watching this. Salute to all of y'all. You know what I mean? Man, you put that grape jelly on there, man. Man, I got this syrup, man. But them shorties ate all my syrup, man. You know what I'm saying? I be introducing them to this American food. Pancakes, all this shit. They be eating this shit, don't want to stop. Next thing you know, they eating all my shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I'll show y'all some American dishes. I got a chef who know how to cook all American food. And now these motherfuckers want to eat all my food. Crazy man. Hmm. Yeah, the chicks on the bus. Mm-hmm. Bro, I don't got a couple chicks on the bus, bro. Bro, listen. 
I'm gonna tell you, I got topped off by a chick on the bus before. Right. When I first came to DR, and I was taking a bus from Porta Plata to the capital or from the capital to Porta Plata or whatever. Bro, I met this chick. Bro, I got her to top me off on the back of the bus, man. So I know you keeping it 100. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video, though. Let me eat this breakfast. Make sure y'all subscribe, share, and like the video. Ring the notification bell. Y'all get the updates. I'll be back. We're going to always kick game on this channel.